Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is a special look at the 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser. It is Toyota's best selling name for off road. This is the 1958 model, but there's also two other models. But instead of me giving you a lot of details, I'm going to bring in Erin Dowdy from Vehicle Marketing, and she's going to give us a special tour. Hi, Erin. Hi, Lauren. Thanks for, thanks for coming out. Of tell course. us about this. This is very different. This is the 1958. That's correct. So tell us what makes this special versus the other Land Cruiser, which we're going to show you, so you want to stay with us. Yeah, absolutely. So this one is going to actually bring in a little bit more of those heritage touches right. that people, yes, these headlamps, everyone loves them when they see them. They're yes. my personal favorite. Right. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, so you're going to see a lot of uh, heritage touches there. You'll also see this heritage grill. Yeah. Absolutely, yes, definitely LED. Yeah. This color is also yeah. a big favorite, uh, meteor shower. Yeah, that's a really nice, it's a beautiful silver. I agree. Yeah, so uh, tell us some more things like under the hood. What kind of engine drive lines are you going to offer? Yeah, absolutely. So this is coming in our iForce Max powertrain. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have 326 horsepower, 465 uh, pound-feet of torque. So this is the same engine that I would find in the the GX, which is from Lexus. Also, I believe the same one for the Highlander. So we've got the iForce Max powertrain. So this is going to be in a, a, a few of our truck lineup. Um, so you've got it in the Very Tundra, popular. yes, yeah. Sequoia. Um, it's extremely powerful. If you haven't had a chance to drive it, it, it performs very well. We reviewed all these cars. You can check them out on our channel. Let's take a closer look at the side of this vehicle. There's a lot of neat details. Sure. So we have our 18 inch wheels here. Um, we've got this nice kind of a dark gray wheel. Yeah. Love the look of that. Yeah, I think it's too. very sharp. Um, you're gonna notice that the window line is actually uh, a bit lower and very straight yeah. across. That's actually very purposefully designed. Um, so if say you're off-roading, you can kind of lean over a little bit easier, see everything that, all that rough terrain that, that you're sounds, traversing. So yeah. that's all very intentional there. Yeah, very bulbous, like muscular yes. fenders as well. And of course, all this detail so you don't scrub up the paint, which I think exactly. is really nice. Exactly, yeah. You're and gonna, the squared off mirrors too. Yes, and you're gonna recognize this nice boxy body shape, um, a lot of heritage inspiration there. Right. So. Remember that this was a very popular vehicle, and when they first brought it here in 1953, they sold one, but then they said, wait a minute, we made some changes, and then it became super popular. And we're actually here at a museum where there's over 100 different Land Cruisers from 14 different countries, and we're gonna show you that as well. So let's take a look at some other details here. So one of the things I noticed is that it's got a lot of black down below, so I assume that's for keeping it clean when you're going off-road. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, every inch of this vehicle is designed so that you can take this off-road mm -hmm. and it will get you there safely and back, right? That's most important. Toyota so it can, safety sense, yes, all handle the safety, all that. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, uh, you've got all this black trim. Is there no roof rails on this one? Uh, not on this one, though. That is available, yes. Okay, so that's good to know. Let's go around to the back of this vehicle because there's some details back here as sure. well. Sure. This is a very muscular looking vehicle. So yes. tell us some of the design cues and what's special about this vehicle, including the iForce Max and the Beyond yes. Zero logo. That's exactly right. Which I know is very important to Toyota. Yeah, so you'll notice actually that the badging back here is pretty simplistic yeah. and that was on purpose. Um, this is the only uh, naming that you'll see on the vehicle right here, that nice Land Cruiser. Ah, of right course there. we have Toyota, so this is kind of a, a different um, style of the badge that we're used to seeing. We're used mm -hmm. to kind of seeing that Toyota bug. Yeah. Um, so this is again kind of a, a nod to the heritage and then of course that nice new iForce Max badge uh, just reminding you uh, a little bit of our electric uh, electrified uh, lineup that we have so uh, a lot of options from a powertrain perspective. Right and then the glass can open separately yes. as well as the hatch which is really nice Correct. and this must be covering the, the trailer tow towing. Yep. <laughs> so they thought about using this off-road and using this on a daily basis and we'll talk about cargo space and all that in just a moment. So we get to the center screen. Now there's two different sizes. That's right. So this is an eight inch screen on yes. the 1958 and there's a larger screen in the regular Land Cruiser. Yes, you can bump up to 12.3 inch screen. That's huge. Yes. That's, <laughs> that's, a, huge. that's a lot. But then again, you've changed all of your interface, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Google, yes. Alexa, you've really changed up a lot. So all of that is also here on the 1958? Yes, that's exactly right. And then, um, of course, available is going to be the JBL speakers as well. Ah, yes. JBL audio. Okay, so all of your climate controls here, which is what you're, if you've seen a Toyota product lately, they've changed everything. Three-stage heated seats, which is really nice to have. Yes. And these are cloth seats. Yes, that's right. So on uh, the 1958 grade, you get all that cold weather spec standard, which is really exciting. You yes. don't see that very often. So we've got the heated seats, we've got the heated 
steering wheel as well. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll be good no matter where you are. Right, and if you want leather seats, then you step into the other Land Cruiser. That's right, yes. So you can upgrade to the leather seats. That's important. Now, okay, further down, lots of charge ports. That's a lot. Yes. Three USB-Cs, wireless charging. And then this is your drive select mode for your off-road modes. Yes, that's correct. And there's a lot of different drive modes, including right here as far as rock crawling. Yes. So this is really serious. So this vehicle must be competing against like the Bronco and the Jeep. Correct, yeah. So our main competitors are going to be the Ford Bronco, uh, Jeep Wrangler, and we're also looking at Defender. Oh, yes. okay. Well, that's interesting. So if, if you come in here closer, you can see that we've got your standard Prindle. You've got all of your parking information here and, of course, locking for the differentials yep. and the high-low. And this is really nice. They do nice. And, of course, Land Yes, Cruiser. this is actually one of my favorite touches. Yeah, right it's there. a nice little <laughs> detail. I love little details like that, and I think people do when you own a vehicle like for that. For sure. But this is really nice. It's very boxy, so it, the interior follows along with the exterior, so you're not, like, completely different. Right. So I thought about it. No, no sunroof, I see. Not in the 1958, but you can upgrade and get a sunroof. Okay, that, that's good to know. And then, yep. of course, the overhead console. This yep. is great. All right, well, let's go take a look at the other vehicle and see how they compare. Awesome. Erin, this is a little bit different. This is the Land Cruiser. This is the top of the line. Yep. But there's even a more special Land Cruiser that you're going to want to order because they're going to go real quick. It's true. And that is the first edition. Right. It has round headlights. Yes. And you said it has some very special features that make it something that you're going to want to buy. It does. It comes with a, a few uh, exterior parts that are a little bit different from what you're seeing here. Yeah. But you are going to get it in uh, a few exterior colors, including this amazing two-tone heritage blue color. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of people wanting to put those round headlights yes. in here. That's going to be aftermarket or maybe over-the-counter from Toyota. We'll see. Well, you never know because they always have over-the-counter parts. I have a sinking feeling people don't want that heritage look. Well, we're going to take a deeper dive on the inside. Thank you for showing us the exterior of these cars. Let's take a look at the inside and the side of this. And you're going to see some very special features. <laughs> I'll let you go now. Sure. Thanks. Sir. Thank you. I appreciate Great it. Great to see you. Nice to see you too. The maximum approach angle to this vehicle is 31 degrees. The departure angle is 21 and the breakover is 25. There's a lot of cool specs on this, including the rear locking differentials, the front locking differentials. You can split the balance of the distribution 50-50. There's a lot of nice technology that's been put into this car. So when you're thinking about a Toyota and off-road, you know the Tacoma is one of the vehicles that we've reviewed and looked at before and just showed you the 2024. A lot of that technology is going to be here on the Land Cruiser. Very cool features. Take a look at these wheels. There are different wheel options, 18 inches standard with an optional 20 inch wheel, bigger brakes. This vehicle has been improved from the previous Land Cruiser and so much more because this is a real off-road vehicle. And if you're gonna go up against Bronco and Jeep and even the Land Rover, you better bring your A-game and this is Toyota's A-game. The wheelbase of the new Land Cruiser is 112.2 inches with an overall length of 193.7 inches. The overall width with the mirrors is 84.2 inches and a height of 73.2 inches. That gives it a ground clearance of 8.7 inches, which is perfect for off-road. When it comes to the warranty, it's three years or 36,000 miles with additional 60-month warranty that covers the powertrain. Hybrid components are eight years or 100,000 miles, and the hybrid is covered for 10 years or 150,000 miles. And this vehicle includes Toyota Care, which is scheduled maintenance for two years or 25,000 miles. You heard us talk about the luggage rack or the roof rails. Here is the roof rails on this vehicle. It's optional on the 1958. Also, there is running boards and there is tons of aftermarket components you can get over the counter from Toyota. They always have a huge quantity of accessories that you can use for camping, for off-road and all the things that meet your needs. A Force Max turbocharged 2.4 liter four cylinder hybrid powertrain that produces 326 horsepower and 465 pound feet of torque. That has a 1.87 kilowatt hour hybrid battery backed by an eight speed automatic transmission. Full time 4x4 four four with a two speed transfer case. This vehicle has a towing capacity hitch, is standard on all grades. There's different multi-train select modes of mud, dirt, sand, crawl, con and control functions. That's five selectable speeds, and downhill assist control is standard. Fuel economy is 13 miles a gallon in the city and 17 on the highway. Let's take a look at the inside of this. This is a different interior. This is the leather interior versus the cloth interior, which is standard on the 1958. 
On the Land Cruiser, you've got the soft tech seats with the optional leather seating. They are heated and ventilated as well as a heated steering wheel. These seats are all new. They've got nice bolstering to them. And this is really important because you also have lumbar, which means you're going to get some comfort too. Inside the Land Cruiser, you're going to get the 13-inch center screen. This is going to be all new for Toyota. You're seeing this across the full lineup, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Google Assist, as well as Alexa. This is all new, so much better than the previous generation. So you're getting the 13-inch screen in the Land Cruiser, and in the earlier version, the 1958, you're going to get that smaller screen. It depends what you want and, of course, the look that you want as well. It's got heated and ventilated seats, tons of charge ports. All of this is the same. This vehicle is different when it comes to the screen and, of course, the exterior. Let's take a look at the second row. So we get up in here, and the first thing you're going to notice is this really nice interior color. Good leg room, pockets behind each seat, and, of course, you've got the climate control, which is important. And then you've got your armrest here. These seats fold down 60-40, and there are two child safety seat latches. This is really nice. One thing you will note is that the sunroof is small. It is not a full panoramic roof, but this is an off-road vehicle. Pressing this button opens up the rear glass. Now, a lot of people like this because when you have items that you don't want to fall out, you can lift them up and put them over the top. Also, if you've got long items, it's good because the glass is up and you can leave them out, whether they be skis or whatever it is you're moving. However, you can still open the whole deck lid. Taking a look at the cargo area, this is really nice, but this is elevated because you've got your hybrid battery back here. In addition, there is some unique storage areas, including under here, whether you're putting jumper cables or whatever it might be. So there's storage all over the place. They really thought about who's using this vehicle. This is part of what Toyota has been doing, is offering you over 100 accessories so that you can make this vehicle personalized for your needs. We do not have pricing yet for the Toyota Land Cruiser. That's going to be coming soon. But if you're thinking about a first edition, you better get in line immediately because once these are launched, everyone's going to want them. And there's only 5,000 of those, and they're going to be very special. If not, you can order a Land Cruiser the way you would like. The dealers will be taking orders very soon. This competes directly with the Ford Bronco as well as the Jeep and the Land Rover. This is going to be an interesting comparison when you're trying to go up against the Discovery. There's a lot of people that want to go off-roading, overlanding, camping, and all of that gives you opportunities to own something like the Toyota Land Cruiser. We're here at the Toyota Land Cruiser Museum in Salt Lake City. If you get a chance to take a peek in this place, there's over 100 Land Cruisers from 1953 all the way to 2021 from 14 different countries. It's pretty cool. If you have additional questions or comments, put them down below. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description, as well as for the website, the podcast, which we did one on this vehicle, as well as the book and my social media. Thank you so much for watching. and look forward to seeing you next time.